Clifford Stone spent over 20 years in the American Army. For most of that time, he had a desk job. But that's not to say nothing interesting happened to him. Because according to Stone, he was drafted into a top secret operation. Its purpose, to retrieve downed Soviet satellites. I was involved in the activities that would recover. Crashes, debris thereof, those operations were known as Project Moondust and Operation Blue Flight. Those two projects dealt with two things. The recovery of objects of unknown origin or objects that survived re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. During that time, we got a call and they stated that they needed us to put some people together because they had a plane or something that went down not too far from where we were at. When we got there, the person that I would later always call the Colonel, he was there and he came up and he told me, he says, uh, Specialist, I need you to go ahead, take your Geiger counter. And I want you to take Geiger counter readings and call them back to us. Well, I was asking, well, what is it? And he went ahead and said, it's some type of Soviet spacecraft that crash. He says, now, if you get there, and you see anything unusual, you need to keep in mind that the Soviets put monkeys, just like we do, in their craft. And as a result of that, if you see any bodies, don't worry about it. It will be monkeys. This was nothing that I had ever seen. I knew it wasn't our craft. I knew it wasn't the Soviet craft. Uh, as soon as I got to the place where I could look down, I could see where there was a little kidney-shaped door that opened on the side, and I saw one of the creatures lying out there. Uh, I went ahead and told him I needed an officer. I needed an officer to come up there, that this wasn't right. I also said, this is no damn monkey. Ever since he left the army, Stone says he's been trying to get the American government to admit to what he says he saw. The Defence Department, though, are still refusing to corroborate his story. <laughs> 